Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful beaded ring. It's a match to the earrings that I showed you how I'm making in one of my last tutorials and because you asked me to make a ring matching the earrings, in this tutorial I'm showing you how to make it. So, if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to support me and make me do more tutorials, please like, share and comment. If you're new here, subscribe and be inspired often with my free content. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. And now, uh, if you want to see how I'm making the earrings, push this eye icon on the right top corner and you will see them. And now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what you're going to need are 6mm beads or pearls, 3 colors of 11 ounce seed beads, only 6 8 oh beads. And you're going to need scissors or an instrument to cut your thread closer to your work, size 10 beading needle. I'm using pliers to squeeze my monofilament here to go through size 10 beading needle and this monofilament is 0.5. 15 millimeters or 0.006 inches you could use beading thread and they are made flat and they easily go through beading needle without being squeezed with pliers so if you use different type of beading thread you won't need the pliers and now I will take about an arm span of thread I will put it on my needle and I'll be back okay and I have an arm span of, tre of thread on my needle and I'm going to start adding beads. I will take 6 millimeter bead and a seed bead and I will repeat this six times. Okay guys and now okay guys and I repeated this six times. I'm alternating 6 millimeter bead and seed bead and now I'm going to slide all of those beads down. I'm sticking my needle in my mat and I'm going to make a knot here. Okay, and I'm making a knot by first making a loop, then going once and second time with my tail thread through this loop I've made and then I will make sure my thread is between those two beads where I started it from and I'm pulling. And now this is what I have. I have a beautiful circle of beads. Okay. Now I will take one bead on my needle and I will go through the opposite bead here. Just like that. And I'm going, as you see, in the same direction where my thread is originally going to. And when I pull, I have this. I have one bead in the center, something like a flower here. Okay, then I want to go through my following bead. And I will flip my work just this way because it's easier for me to work in this direction. And now guys, I'm going to start by taking three silver beads, one eight-o, and then again three silver beads. So this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back through the same six millimeter bead here, back in circle. I'll fix it a little bit. And I'm pulling and now this is what I have and then I want to exit here out of my next six millimeter bead okay and what I want to take are three seed beads one eight oh and then again one silver bead this time I'm adding only one silver bead after my eight oh because I'm going to go back here through these two beads 
you see where I'm going. I'm skipping this first one and I'm going through the next two beads. Now this is what I have. I'm flipping to the center. I'm pushing them to the center of my work. Then I'm going back through the next two six millimeter beads just like that and then I'm going to take the same thing three seed beads one eight oh and then again one more seed bead this is what I have and I'm going back in my previous two beads you see where back in circle okay then I'm going through the next six millimeter bead and through the following one Okay, and now I'm going to repeat this. Okay guys, and now I'm here at my last step and what I'm going to do is go through the next 6mm bead and I will do here something differently. I will go through my next two seed beads to the center of my work and then I'm going to take one 11 -0, one 8 -0, and one 11 -0. So this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back here to these two beads, just like that. And I have this. Now, what I want to do is go through this 6 millimeter and reach the center of my work. Uh, where one of my atolls is, let's say here. And now I, I'm going to start taking one silver, one black and one silver. This is what I have on my needle. And as I'm exiting from here, I will go back in circle through the same bead where I'm exiting out of, just like that. And I'm pulling. Then I want to go through my next two silvers and exit here at my next red bead. And this time I'm going to take only one silver and one black, not silver, black, silver, but silver, black. And I will go back through the previous silver here. You see, I'm going through the previous silver. And I'm pulling. This is my tail thread here. Okay. I'm pulling and when I pull this is what I have. And then I'm going to go through the next. Through the red bead and through the following red. Just like that. And in my next step I want silver and black and I won't add one more silver because I'm going through the previous silver here. Okay, just like that. You see where I'm going? 
and I'm pulling then back through the red one through the red one and then I'm going to repeat this two more times Okay guys, and after I repeated this two more times, I have five black beads in the center. And now here I have one silver and here I have one silver. So here in this my last step I will be adding only one black. Because I already have two of my silvers added. Okay. Now I will take only one black bead. And I'm going back through this silver here. Okay. Then back through this red one, like I did in my previous steps. Okay, and now guys, the only thing that I have to do here is connect my middle circle of beads, because they are not connected. And I want to form a beautiful circle of beads in the center. That is why I'm gonna connect them. Okay. Now I connected them and in my next step I will show you how to attach your ring band. And in order to do this we should go at the back of your of our ring. Okay. Just like that. Now I'm exiting out of this silver and um, I want to go through the next six millimeter bead and I want to take three red beads one silver and three more red beads this is what I have and I'm going back through this six millimeter bead just like that push it to this side then go through the next seed bead and the next six millimeter bead and repeat this three red one silver and then again three red beads and as i'm exiting from here i will go back to the same bead in circle okay this is what I have and I will repeat this four more times and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last seven beads and what I want to do here is exit out of one of my next silvers, okay? Just like that. And now I'm going to take three silvers and I will go to the next silver and I'm pulling pull tight then I will take three more silvers go to the next silver and three more go to the next one okay and pull to the center and I'm going to repeat this three more times
okay guys and now this is what i have and what i need to do is go around all of those beads let's say two or three more times reinforcing this part here because i want to make it nice and tight pull really tight go around at least two times and then i'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay and after i reinforce this part i have something like a honeycomb and here i will attach my ring band but before i do this you see my thread is almost over and i want to cut this thread and add a new one and i'm going to do this by going through some beads in this direction making a loop then going second time through the loop i've made and i'm pulling and i'm going to repeat this several more times here and when i'm ready i will cut my thread repeat this a few more times i won't show it here but it's better to repeat the knots some more times and then cut your thread and now i will put an arm span on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and now i have a new arm span of thread on my needle and i'm going to add it here so okay and in order to do this i'm going through one of my beads i'm pulling leaving a small tail thread here and what i want to do is make a loop then go once and go second time through this loop i've made and then i'm pulling and now i added my new thread here you could do several more knots if you want and after that you could cut your tail thread here okay and then i want to exit here of one of the sides of my honeycomb By the way, uh, you could do this uh, by starting with two arm spans and without adding a new thread. But this way, if one of the parts of your ring disassembles, it will be easier for you to restore it. Okay? And now I'm going to start adding my ring band and I need one seed bead. And I want to go back in circle through the same bead here i'm exiting out of i'm exiting out of this bead and i'm going back in circle through the same one okay then i'm going back through this bead here and i'm pulling i need one more seed bead and this time you see what I have here and this time with this bead I'm going through this middle one okay just like that and I'm pulling then i'm going in this direction through this one i just added and pulling again then i need one more c bead and i'm going back through this one here okay just like that okay then what i need to do is go back through the same one here and when i pull i have this 
then what I need to do, it might be a little difficult because I went through those beads too many times, but anyway, I will do this. If you uh, want, you could use your pliers. So go back through all of those beads here and then go through these three beads that you just added. Okay. And pull. Okay, and from here on I will be repeating the same thing. Okay, taking one bead, going back through this one here. Pull. Then one seed bead going back through the middle one. Pulling just like that. Then back through it. And one more. And then go back through the previous one. and then back through the same one you just added and pull okay then back through the previous row and to connect all those newly added three beads. And from here on I will repeat these steps until I have a, a ring band long enough to wrap it around my finger. And when I'm ready I'll be back to show you how to attach it to the other part. Okay guys, and when I continue beading the same way what I have is a ring band that's long enough and I could attach it here uh, to the other part of my honeycomb and I will show you how I'm doing this and it will be uh, very much the same like I showed you up until now so as I'm exiting from this bead here I will go through this one Okay, through this one here, and I'm pulling. Then I will go back through the same one in circle. Okay, I connected my two beads, my first two beads. Then I will go back again through this one, it might be a little too tight but I'll do it anyway you see what I have here I'm going back through the central one okay then go through this central here just like that okay and Go through this one in the center and through the following. Here is where I'm going. Okay, now this is what I have. And what I want to do is go back through all of those three beads here. And in my last step I will go one more time through these three beads here okay now my ring band is ready 
and I will go here through some of my red beads and I'm going to make a knot and I showed you so many times how I'm making my knot I'm making a loop going twice through this loop and pulling and repeat it as many times as you want and then cut your thread and your ring will be ready okay guys and now my ring is ready I can put it here see how my ring band looks and see how it looks from the back side it's really cool and I have a tutorial for the matching earrings here are they and I'm giving a link if you push this eye icon on the top you will see it so if you like what I'm what I'm showing you here and you're new here please subscribe and if you want to support me and make me do more tutorials like share and comment and I'll answer to all of you that comment and if you have any questions and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations thank you so much for watching bye bye